All right. For those of you that don't know, or for those of you that already know and uh, you've been keeping up with it, it's a sad day for the COD community, the Call of Duty community. Activision has shut down another mod one day before its release. I, I swear on my life, this, this has crossed it. I had enough of this. This is taking it literally way too far. They have shut down a mod a day before its release. Be I really wish I wasn't, you I know, love me some doing this right now. You good man? Golden Tuxedo? No, I am not good. I am fucking pissed. And you'll see why. Here's the H2 mod uh, tweet. That was posted earlier this afternoon. And I swear on my life, I wish this was fake, but I'm telling you right now, fuck Activision and everything they do. Today, our team members received a cease and desist order on behalf of Activision Publishing in relation to the H2M mod project. We are complying with this order and shutting down all operations immediately and permanently. Literally a day before its release. Come on, Activision. Do better, man. Honestly absurd. I'm I'm literally about to blow a fucking gasket after after this shit, man. Seriously. I'm a, I'm actually disgusted that they did this. They just don't want us to have fun. They don't want us to have fun. Still going to buy Black Ops 6. So here's here's the thing. Here here here's the thing about that. My hype meter is not even that high for it. Like it's not even high at all. I have low expectations for that. I was actually more hyped for that mod, if anything. And for them to take this down a day after, re uh, before release? Come on, man. You, Activision is literally a joke. They're, they're literally a joke, I'm telling you. They don't want us to have fun. They, wanna, they just want to plummet it. Remember back last year, on May 17th, they shut down SM2. On May 22nd, 2023, they shut down X-Labs. And I did a whole rant about that last year, too. A whole entire rant. That Activision is a scummy company, and they still are till this fucking day. And this, this has completely crossed it. Completely. When they took down SM2, I was a little disappointed about that. When they took down X-Labs, I was pissed about it. Now they took down H2, the H2 mod? Oh, I am fucking livid, brother. Actually livid. Insane that they did this shit. A day before its release. And for anyone that has purchased Modern Warfare Remastered, I hope you are getting a refund for this shit. I did. I was actually going to buy this literally uh, later on tonight to get this uh, mod going. Now after I saw that, thanks for saving my bank account, Activision. Fucking dickheads. Activision is falling apart. <laughs> They've been falling apart for years, dude. For fucking years. They can't make a good Call of Duty game anymore. Seriously, Call of Duty is fucking dead. I, I don't even have high expectations for Black Ops 6. I really don't care about the game that much. Re really, I do not. I, I, can't, I, I can't believe that this... I, I, can't, I can't believe they pull some scummy shit like this. As usual. They're literally losing money from this. Well, that's their own damn fault. That's their own fucking fault that they did this. I'm so, I'm so glad I didn't buy it. I, I was I was gonna buy a model for your master. I'm so glad I did I didn't buy it after seeing this. Seriously, Activision, you need to do better than this. This is absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely absurd. KX Activision is going through stock problems. Good chances they will be sold off to Microsoft. <laughs> Yeah, we thought that fucking Activision, uh, Microsoft acquiring Activision, things were going to get fixed. I was wrong. <laughs> yeah. I guess Activision is still fucking greedy, as always. I, I, I don't even know if I should call Microsoft greedy. At this point, I don't even know. But yeah, let's look at this tweet here, posted by FaZe Clan. By FaZe Banks, by the way. 
we are begging that you guys reconsider this decision, Activision. To be clear, we have zero involvement in this project outside of being massive fans. We were excited to produce an ill cams on the H2 mod. Their team made it a requirement to purchase the original Modern Warfare 2 remastered published by you guys. An excellent asset to onboard users slash players to your product. This is harmless fun and community building. Some something we feel Call of Duty desperately needs. Please do the right thing and let the kids play their game. Seriously, I, 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 I blessed this fucking tweet right there. This clearly shows that Activision still doesn't care. As I said on my rant last time, or last year I should say, they don't give a shit about the game. All they care about is their bundles and the money. They don't even care about the quality of the game. The gameplay of it. Money and bundles. Just just drill that shit into your head. Because that's all they fucking care about. We are sick of the matchmaking. We are sick of the bundles. Half of them are probably fucking AI. We're, we're sick of the bullshit. This has literally fucking crossed the line. My my rage meter is like skyrocketing to the roof after this. It's it's ridiculous. I'm telling you. Still screaming out "fuck you" to Activision for this shit. Again, if you if you if you purchase Modern Warfare Remastered, I really hope you do get a refund. Get get your money back. Get your fucking money back. Because now there's no point on buying Modern Warfare Remastered if they took down if uh, they took down the mod. There's, there's no point. I'm, I, I don't even know what else to say at this point. I, re I really do not. I can just keep repeating the same shit over and over and over and over until, until the end of this game's life cycle. But Call of Duty is never gonna die down. It's still gonna be shit every fucking year, and it will never be better. Honestly, it will, it will never be better. The good old day, the good old days of Call of Duty is just gone. It's never coming back. I think Microsoft's gonna try and shut down a large portion of Activision. I have a high doubt that's gonna happen. After seeing this shit. I don't even know if Microsoft's going to do anything about it. Yes, they yes, they acquired it. But I have a high doubt they're going to they're going to um turn this around. I'm not I'm not bringing my hopes up on that shit. Fuck that. Literally, I'm not I'm not bringing I'm not bringing my hopes up on it. The, all this hard work and dedication for this mod. I could even say the same thing for SM2. Down the fucking toilet bowl. Cuz Activision is so scared that it's they're going to get money off of this. No. It's 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 a it's a mod. They're not even getting paid for this. They're not making money off of it. It's a PC client, a PC only client. That's not for console. Let me say it again. A fucking PC client that is not for console. Activision, get that drilled into your head, and understand that is a PC client, not for console. If this is going to hurt your player base that much, then, oh, boo-hoo. Oh, it's going to hurt the player base. Oh, ha -ha, let's take it down. Fuck out of here, man. Are you kidding me? How about this? Actually, just release the Modern Warfare 2 Remastered multiplayer. Oh, that's going to hurt the player base too? We don't care. Every year, Call of Duty is just releasing, like, other garbage. Give the devs some time. Give the devs some time to actually make a good Call of Duty. Every year it's always fucking released half-assed. Stop with the yearly Call of Duty releases. Give again, give the devs time. Give them a chance to breathe. The yearly Call of Duties are not working out. This has got to stop already. I really wish I wasn't ranting about this right now, but I'm I, I want to get this all out. I really want to get this all out because I, I I've had enough of this shit. I, I really had enough of it. I, I, I can't even stress enough for Activision to do better. But they're not going to. Because, again, again, they don't give a shit. They're, all they care about, as always, they care about money. They care about their fucking bundles. Half of them are probably AI or whatever. And people are so going to buy them, that's a sad thing. And they're not gonna, they don't even care about the quality of the game. They don't, they don't care about the, the game at all. The bugs are still going to happen every time. Every, every time, there's, there's always bugs. Every fucking patch. Ridiculous, man. I'm telling you, it is ridiculous. The fact that they shut down these mods immediately, but they they don't even 
shut down the cheap providers. They take forever to get to get at them. Like engine owning, they've been up for years and they're doing nothing about it. Like, what is going on? How about take down the cheap providers before you do some shit like that? That's one thing I don't understand about Activision. Why are they not shutting down the cheap providers, but they're shutting down these mods? SM2, X Labs, H2M. I would, I would love to, uh, to hear an explanation from Activision on why they do some stupid shit like this. Seriously. I would, I would really love to see an explanation off of those fuckers. To see why they do this. I'm, my brain is actually going to explode, literally. It's hard, it's hard for me to think about what else I want to say about this. Really. I don't want to keep repeating myself over and over again about Activision and all that shit, but this is just absolutely absurd. It is ridiculous that they take down the HUM mod a day before release. Like, are you kidding me? I'm still screaming out, fuck you, Activision, for doing this shit. Seriously. They, they, they don't want us to have fun. They don't want us to, you know, play a good Call of Duty. They just want us to continue pouring out money on, on, the, on their current shit. This is the last straw, really. This is the, this is the last straw. Enough is enough. I'm, I'm done with this shit. HUM will make money and they don't. Like that because they aren't getting it. Well, here's the thing. What's the point on buying Modern Warfare Remastered for the H2 mod if it's still going to get taken down anyway? What is the point? I really want an answer off of that. What is the point on buying MWR to play the H2 mod, Modern Warfare 2 Multiplayer Remastered if it's just going to get hit with a season desist? I am honestly curious to know what their answer is behind that. Unfortunately, we're never going to get an answer off of that. Because Activision is fucking greedy. They are greedy and scummy. I am like literally lost for words. I was really waiting. I was really hoping that this would get released. I, I, I was excited for this. I, I was going to try to pump out content for this. Stream it as well. No, this has got the SM2 and x slap treatment. Cease and desist. You ain't, you're not having fun. <laughs> you're playing our current Call of Duties. Uh, spend our money on there. Spend money on bundles. No, literally. Fuck you. I'm not doing this shit no more. This is it. This is the last straw. En enough is enough. You can still use HUM mod, but you got to find other sources. Not like they care enough to search the community for the leaks. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna waste my time trying to do that shit, honestly. It's it's ridiculous. I keep I keep repeating it's ridiculous because it fucking is. Seriously, Activision. This shit has got to stop. This is literally the last fucking straw. We are sick and tired of the Caesar's Assist bullshit. Literally, we are sick of it. The fact that you take down a mod a day before it release releases. Shows you how scummy you really are. And greedy. You want us to have fun in Call of Duty? How about... Again, give the devs time to make a good Call of Duty. Stop releasing Call of Duties every fucking year half-assed. And take it easy with the bundles. So many bundles... Being released. I, I, I can't even count how many bundles that they have released. And people are still buying them. The Black Cell, too. Black Cell is getting out of hand. I I am not bought a single Black Cell uh, throughout the start of what Modern Warfare Two, something like that, twenty twenty two. Do you, I only have the season one Black Cell because I pre-ordered the vault. Uh, uh, I bought the vault edition for Modern Warfare Three, twenty twenty three. But that was it. But yeah, this has got to stop. Seriously, this is this really this is literally. Ridiculous. I can't, I, I can't think of anything else to say at this point. Literally, this is, this is fucking bullshit. That's, uh, that, that's all I'm saying. This is fucking bullshit. Our voices need to be heard. Seriously. We, I, I'm, I'm, this is it. We, we can't, we can't silence this. This, this can't go silent. Spread, spread the fucking word. We are sick and tired of this bullshit. I'm not going to keep playing these current Call of Duties with their shitty matchmaking. It's, it's, it's literally manipulative. 
I'm sick of getting packet bursts. I'm sick of getting thrown into West Coast servers. I'm just sick of everything about Call of Duty right now. It is, it's, it's absurd. The good old days of Call of Duty are fucking gone. Every Call of Duty, like, every Call of Duty release is fucking soulless. You think people are gonna have memories for these shitty games that keep releasing? The shitty Call of Duty games? No. The only member of Call of Duties that some people remember, Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops, Modern Warfare 3, the OG ones, Black Ops 2, those are Call of Duties. Those are memorable ones. Vanguard will never be memorable. Cold War will never be memorable. I don't care what anybody says. Modern Warfare 2 2022 and Modern Warfare 3 2023 will not be fucking memorable Call of Duties. They are not fun. You want fun? Go play Black Ops 2. Go play the OG Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 1, any old Call of Duty game from 2007, 2008, wh whatever. That's Call of Duty. Not whatever the fuck this shit is. Seriously. It's ridiculous. Absolutely absurd. Don't get too mad. These things are going to happen and we can't do shit. <laughs> Ain't that the damn truth. But I'm still lashing this out. I'm still going to lash this out. Because this is... I don't want this to go silent. Please, I am begging y'all. I am literally begging y'all. Do not silence this shit. I don't care where I'm posting this. Whatever it's on YouTube, TikTok, on on Twitch. On the, on the Twitch VOD, whatever. Spread the fucking word. Activision literally crossed it. They really have crossed it. Shutting down a mod a day before release. But yeah, they can't shut down cheap providers. Uh, that's honestly unacceptable. On, uh, for, for a fucking billion dollar company. It is unacceptable. All I'm saying for Activision is do better. Like understand where the OGs are coming from on this. We want a fun Call of Duty. We want to relive the past. We don't want to deal with the shit that we're dealing with right now. And re remember, this is a PC client. A PC client. Not, it's not for console. It is for PC. Just remember that. The hard work and dedication that these guys do to make these mods. Down the fucking toilet bowl. Because Activision is scared that they're going to be making money off of it. Which they're not. Please, I'm begging y'all. Don't silence this. Enough, enough is enough. Spread the fucking word. To your fr spread spread it around to any other social medias. I don't care what it is. If you even send it to your friends, share this. Let the word go out that we are done with this shit. We have had enough of Activision and their bullshit on what they do. Trust me, it won't go silent. For now, just be happy, you people who share the same feelings. I'd gift you a couple subs, but I'm poor AF. That's fine. Don't, just don't worry about that. I, I appreciate the bits, though, but I, I still, though, I just want this to be spread. I, I, I want this all over. I don't care. I don't care if anybody doesn't want to listen to it or they don't give a rat's ass about what's going on. Seriously. I, I just want this to be heard. I'm still screaming out fuck you to Activision till till the end. I don't care. Until they release something good, I'm I'm still I'm still I'm not saying anything positive. It's all negative. Comments on Activision's BO6 post. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at uh, Call of Duty's post. Most recent. We're gonna see a lot of angry ones on here. Here's one right here. Save H2M, you fucking money hungry assholes. Yep. Look at this. All of the angry comments. Yep. Mm hmm. This goes to show. This goes to show. That everyone was looking forward to this H2M mod. And Activision took it away from us. They literally took it away from us. 
absolutely absurd. Let's look at this. It's all negative comments, and I do not blame them. I really do not blame them for all these negative comments. Ridiculous. Keep your hype meters low for Black Ops 6. Because this is... This is not, you know, the way. I am begging everyone. I don't care who... I, don't, I really don't care who. Spread the fucking word. Let them know that this, this, is, this is the last straw. This is this is absurd. The, the la this is literally the last straw. I've I've had enough of this shit. They really are losing money from this because people are going to boycott the game now. <laughs> Here's the thing. I don't think it's going to happen. I would love for that to happen, but I don't think that will happen because here's here's the thing. Black Ops 6 is going to be released on Game Pass and it's it's, it's going to be free. Unless if you have uh BattleNet, which I play Call of Duty on BattleNet or if you're playing on console. Or PlayStation, at least. No matter what, people are still going to fucking download it and are still going to buy it. And again, my hype meter for it is literally down to the drain. And my hype, my hype meter for, uh, for HUM was over the roof. Now, since it's taken down, my hype is gone. I've played Modern Warfare 2 2009 for God knows how long. And I'm really disappointed that they took this down. I wish X Labs was still up because I I would still I would still love to go back onto it. I I I'm so disappointed that they took this down, really. To the HUM devs out there, I'm so sorry that you have to deal with that. I really hope for the best of you. And if this gets overturned, then. Hoorah, but otherwise, I'm so sorry that Activision had to take down your hard work project. I was really looking forward to it. I really hope for the best for you guys. And, yeah, all I just gotta say is I'm sorry that this happened. But, yeah. Um, that's, that's, my, that's my rant right there. I got nothing else to say. I wish Call of Duty w went back to, this, to its routes and not to where it's at right now. I just want Activision to do better. That's all I want them to do. I expected better from them when Microsoft acquired them, but I was wrong. I was wrong. And now we have to deal with this shit. So far, Plutonium has, is basically our long, uh, the long survivor. SM2 shut down b before it ever even released, and they had years to work on it. X Labs gone. And now H2M. It's all gone. Where there's nothing left. Call of Duty's done. I'm giving. I'm. I'm giving out my last fuck you to Activision. Seriously. That that that's my one last one there. Until they do something else, uh, scummy, and greedy, then I will be back to rant about it again.